Hello everyone, time again for another Midday Musing. Following up on yesterday's thoughts on the importance of being interested, sort of the first four steps on this path towards compassionate curiosity. Uh, today, want to revisit and uh, touch upon uh, the second of those four steps, which is the importance of being inquisitive. Uh, the importance of being curious and asking questions on the journey of life and faith and in our relationships and interactions with others, uh, in particular those who might be different than us. Uh, Jesus was the master teacher. He shows us what it means to be truly human and he asked a whole lot of questions. Uh, at my count, I count over 300 questions that Jesus asked littered throughout uh, the New Testament and the Gospels that we read. It says at the end of uh, Luke chapter 2, even as Jesus was a boy, it says he grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. That's how the second chapter of Luke ends. That's the last thing we read about uh, Jesus' childhood. So, you know, oftentimes in the church, we sort of magnify and elevate the divinity of Jesus, which is fine, but sometimes it happens at the expense of the humanity of Jesus. And Jesus is both fully divine and fully human. And so to be fully human is to enter into the fullness of what it means to be a human being. And as Luke's gospel uh, tells us very clearly, that mean, that involves growing, that involves being curious, that involves learning, doubting, asking questions, being inquisitive. And we see that certainly in Jesus' ministry. He's constantly asking questions. He's genuinely not simply interested, but that interest leads to uh, inquisitiveness. And, uh, you know, sadly, um, the cliche or the, the, the common saying related to curiosity that many of us have heard, I grew up hearing this, is that, you know, curiosity killed the cat. And so that makes curiosity seem like it's a negative thing. Well, don't be too curious. Yeah, you could get on a slippery slope. It could cause you some challenges or some problems, some harm. And hey, if it killed the cat, it can certainly do damage to us and to our soul. And, you know, there's a certainly a negative aspect to just being overly inquisitive and curious and, and just unraveling. But uh, I think as Jesus models to us, and that's been my experience and many others in the life of faith, as you grow and mature and develop on your journey of life and uh, as you... You travel the world and get to know more and more people. You bump into different people and people groups. Uh, being inquisitive and being curious has been good for my soul. And it's, it's helped nurture and cultivate uh, relationships. Not just relationships with people that look, think, and act like me, but relationships with people of different religious faith, people of different sexual identity, people of different race and, and religion, and, and the list goes on and on and on and on. And so the importance of being inquisitive cannot be understated. And certainly, you know, even as a person grows out of childhood into an adolescent, into an adult, um, you know, taking the faith that many of us received from our parents, from our Sunday school teachers, and all of which I'm very grateful for, holding on to those core beliefs of the Christian faith that are passed down generation to generation, but also having the freedom and the liberty to explore, to ask questions, uh, theological questions, relational questions. We want to make space uh, for ourselves, for our faith community, for certainly our children, the next generation, to grow up in a healthy faith environment where they don't shy away or they're not shunned to ask questions, but to be honest, to create an environment of vulnerability and authenticity. And that maybe involves some inquisitiveness, even some sometimes some doubt. Uh, I think a healthy church community is a community that's diverse. It doesn't get uh, threatened by the questions of others. It doesn't control the narrative. I'm the pastor, but I'm not. Uh, part of my job description isn't to control everyone and control the narrative, but to cult help cultivate, help nurture in an environment of authenticity and vulnerability and that's that's what we're hoping to continue to cultivate at Valley View and in the wider community as we engage with those around us and so um, in your relationships uh, it's so tempting sometimes just to make statements Sometimes when we get around and we study the Bible, we can make a statement. And, and statements are important, but sometimes it's important to turn a statement into a question, to continue the conversation, to sort of pry open the soul, as, as Dan White Jr. says in his book. That's what questions can do. And so I would encourage us uh, today, and as we're thinking about this moving forward, uh, to think about the questions we're asking, to think about the importance of inquisitiveness. If we're rooted in the love of Christ, we need not fear the questions and potential answers that might 
might come and different perspectives that people have to bring on scripture or theology but if we're rooted in the love of Christ um, we can be free to engage we can be free to be genuinely inquisitive on the journey towards wholeness in Jesus Christ Jesus models this to us the Holy Spirit can guide us and lead us and we can uh, go deeper in our relation with God and our relationships with those around us especially those who are different than us if we're not simply interested in them but that interest leads to a genuine curiosity and inquisitive inquisitiveness uh, they may say curiosity kills a cat but curiosity certainly hasn't killed this cat curiosity has been good for my soul and uh, i know it will be good for us as a church to the degree we're grounded and rooted in christ's love we can have a genuine sense of inquisitiveness so i wanted to share uh, those thoughts today and uh, i hope you'll give that some further thought in your conversations with others and your conversations as a family and as our broader conversations and our ministry of valley view community church uh, in valley east East and beyond. So enjoy the rest of this day. I will be back tomorrow working from home today with a couple sick kids here, but I hope to be back uh, in my university office tomorrow where I'll send out a third one in this little mini series of midday musings. So tomorrow, having talked about being interested and being inquisitive, uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about the importance of being interpersonal. So I'll be back tomorrow with some few thoughts on that. Have a great evening and we will catch up soon. God bless you. Bye.